Uh, just quickly to reflect on our, our last five years, um, really proud of the things that have been accomplished. We, uh, uh, we are the uh, best in academics with the APR in the ACC this year. We've had the best four years in North Carolina history. So I'm proud of that. These guys are, are tied with Northwestern for the third best APR uh, in the country. And, and that's, they, they come to school to get a degree. That's going to help them even more than the NIL money that they're going to get when they get out. So I'm really, really proud that these guys have the best academic situation right now in the history of North Carolina football, the best in the ACC and the third best nationally. Uh, we are also second in the ACC with number of draft choices over the last five years. That means our coaches have done a good job of, of recruiting. It means we're developing young people. And a lot of those guys are getting opportunities at the second level, and I'm really proud of that. And third, we've got, uh, we're tied with NC State for the second most wins in, in the ACC in ACC games over the last five years. So I'm really, really proud of that. We've been to an Orange Bowl, which North Carolina's never done. We've won a Coastal Championship, which North Carolina had only done once uh, in, in our history. So uh, a lot of wonderful things that these guys have done. Uh, what we, we won some games that we shouldn't have won and really surprised some people. We've had national rankings that are really high. Uh, what we haven't done, though, is we've lost some games that we shouldn't have lost. And that's really hurt us. We've lost some games where we were the better team. And that comes back to me. That's on, that's on coaching. That's on us because we've had good enough players to do that. Uh, we've also, we haven't finished the seasons like we should. The old adage of fans and media remember November, uh, that's why we don't have the respect nationally that, that we should have over the first three comments that I made simply because we haven't finished right. Um, and and we, we've played some really good teams at the end, but we've, we've lost to our rival uh, three years in a row. Uh, one of our rivals, and you can't do that. And that's the end of the year. We lost to Clemson in a title game. We lost to Oregon. These are all good teams, but to, to be where we want to go, we've got to win those games. So our whole focus since the end of last season is why are we we're not finishing right? Coach Bowden kind of, he had a, a, a quote that kind of said, if you keep, keep making the same mistakes, you're going to have the same results. And, and that's true. So why not change? So we're going to play more people. We've got to play more people and create more depth. We've said it for five years. We haven't done it. We've got to do it. And Jeff Collins coming in is, is committed to doing that, and we'll do it on offense as well. Uh, when you, you've got starters that are not as tired at the end of the year, you can have them more involved with special teams because we've got to get better on our special teams. We've got to get better on defense. And we've had some injuries, and guys get tired at the end. Those are all things that we can do better. And they're, they're simple answers for a, a a very difficult problem, but there are things that we can do.